Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pierce on the Excel International Math by Mr. Kamoto. And I would want to, to explain example 16 of IGCSE page 155 area of similar shapes and um, we have just talked about linear scale factor and the area scale factor and how they relate. But now we are faced by a question which says two shapes shown are similar these two shapes are similar um, the area of shape a is 18 centimeters squared find the area of shape b the area of shape b is the one which is in question and it goes without saying that we must start from the linear scale factor and uh, it's not a must that we should start there but we look at where do we have complete information is it in the area yes we have the area of shape a but we don't have the area of shape b we don't have complete information we have one dimension of shape a we have a corresponding dimension of shape b there we have a complete information so the linear scale factor if i may explain using one aspect is the length of the new which is 4 out of 6 which is 2 over 3 and with this we know the area scale factor is simply the linear scale factor squared meaning that we have 2 over 3 as the linear scale factor squared which gives us 4 out of 9 that is the area scale factor Yet we know the area of nu over the area of old should give us the area scale factor. Meaning what? The area of B, the area of B, which is the nu, all over 18, which is the area of the old, should give us the area scale factor 4 over 9. And it goes without saying, if we take the area of B to be uh, to be just B, so we are going to have 9B is equals to, after cross multiplication, 18 or uh, times 4. So if you divide by 9 both sides to make B the subject of the formula, you realize that the area of B is by 9 1 by 9 2 8 centimeter squared that is the area of b <clears throat> i would want to um i would want to take um another approach of this question because we've talked about the linear scale factor is the length of the new over the corresponding length of the old we can also take 6 over 4 but keep maintaining that the linear scale factor can also be equals to 6 over 4 which is 3 over 2 and now it goes without saying that the area scale factor can also be 3 over 2 squared which is 9 over 4 but look the difference now here will be uh, the area of old because here was the old that was at the numerator so the area of old over the area of new should give us the area scale factor meaning what 18 over b is equals to 9 over 4 if we cross multiply now we are still going to have 9b is equals to 18 times 4 and again if you divide both sides by by 9 by 9 you realize again your b is still by 9 1 by 9 2 2 times 4 which is 8 centimeter squared either way so long as you maintain if you decide the the original will be at the numerator let it be at the numerator throughout if you decide the the the, the new will be at the numerator let be at the numerator throughout but more often than not i would talk about area of new 
of area of old giving us the area scale factor but either way you will be home i want to explain in the same video example example 17 and in example 17 we are talking about the two triangles are similar with dimensions uh, and areas as shown and we have one triangle here which is one centimeter that length and the area is two centimeters squared and then we have another bigger triangle here and the dimension is x centimeter and the area is 18 centimeters squared and i want us to be very keen what is x the question is find x we are supposed now to find the base length of the bigger or the new triangle and as i said you should scrutinize the two diagrams and find out where do we, do we have complete information is it in the dimensions no because we have this length we don't have this corresponding length in fact that is what we are looking for is it in the area we have this area and we have this area yes it is in the area and we know very well that the area scale factor because it can also be given by the area the area of new over the area of old the new has 18 centimeters squared and the old has 2 centimeters squared which is 9 the area scale factor itself is 9 the area scale factor is 9 yet we know very well that the linear scale factor squared should be equals to the area scale factor which is now 9 the linear scale factor squared because we outlined that we said that the linear scale factor squared is the area scale factor in the first video and we have the area scale factor as 9 that means our linear scale factor squared is the one which is giving us 9. So if the linear scale factor uh, squared is 9, we need now to get the square root on both sides to get the linear scale factor to be the root of 9, which is a 3. Giving us what? If the linear scale factor is 3, then the length of big the length of, of of new the length of new over the length of old should give us the linear scale factor what are we saying here x over one should give us a three because the length of new is x the length of old is the one which is one and uh, it should give us the, the linear scale factor, which is a 3. So cross multiplying here, definitely we are going to get x is equals to 1 times 3, because this is 3 over 1, which is 3 centimeters. And that is just like it. You realize that for this particular example, we have worked from the area scale factor back to the linear scale factor. And that is why we had to take the square root of... Um, of, of, of the area scale factor which should give us the linear scale factor and that is just like it so once again be on the lookout you can be able now to attack some questions and answer them please go to my youtube channel subscribe widely and let us watch together and let us walk together all right